in anything with Google and Google Docs and slides and any of that stuff yet. I okay, had so to. I I had to switch to Google products. Uh, I don't remember how many years ago when my previous school went got Google for education, Google Apps for education. Mm -hmm. And so that school went to Google. And so I had to migrate everything from my Word and PowerPoint and, and Excel into Google. Okay. And I did that then. And then my current school is also a Google school. So it works. So I, I would say I do very, 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 very little in Word or, or Excel or PowerPoint anymore. And I know that PowerPoint is still more powerful than the Google Slides, but because the schools are Google, I just do everything in Google. It makes it easier for me to yes. disseminate. Sure. Okay, sure. so I'm, I come up here. Yeah. When I want to uh, share it with someone, my, my uh, habit is I make a, a clean copy for myself. Right. But, but Google has now given us version history so you can go back to. Yeah. So that's nice. So if you don't make a clean copy, you want to come up here, see version history and name this, like this is the version right now. I'm gonna name it uh, template so I can get back to that if I ever want to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then I- um, And when you share it, do, do, you, do you put in my email someplace so it would come I'm, to me? I can't do that, but usually for my students, I just share the link. It's, I find it faster to just share the link. So I come up here to the share button. Mm -hmm. And down here, when you first create a jam, it restricts it that only you have access to it. Yeah. So I'm going to change this to anyone with the link. Anyone I send the link to can be an editor. So I change okay. this to editor. And then I copy this link. And I'm going to send it to you in the chat. Mm. so in my so, zoom or my google meets i just put the link in the chat okay and you've got the link that showed up on your computer okay if and you then, if you oh. click on that yeah you are now with me and i will see that you have uh, you're not there yet but i will see Now it's probably assuming is probably it's opening up in your um, Safari uh, browser if you're on a Mac. Yes. It. I don't know. Yeah, why don't what, I switch to the Chrome? Yeah. Um, um, yeah I find yeah, that like all of this easier. Yeah. So if you switch it into Chrome, open it up in Chrome instead, that might be easier. But I can see that you joined me. Yeah. Okay. Now, as a good practice, can you just go ahead and make a copy for yourself right now? You go to the three dots. Well, let me scoot that one over the way. I think I, need, I can close. Are you seeing my screen? I think I can close the one where we were doing it in Safari. I'm going to close that one. Waste not me. Um, hmm. I'll have to figure that out. Let's just see if it works in Safari. Okay. okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So let me go back to my. There's your Zoom. Let me minimize your Zoom. Okay. You did okay. it. All right. So this is my screen. If you clicked on that link, it is open on your Safari. Right. And you, you live here in Safari. So if you go up to the three dots, mm -hmm. one of the options is make a copy. Mm -hmm. So if you navigate now to your Safari window that has that Jamboard, you can make a copy. Okay. Um, so the screen I'm looking at is a Chrome, <coughs> it's not a Safari. Yeah, you, what you're looking at is my screen right now okay. through Zoom. So if you look at your Safari tab, it would have that Chrome, the, the sorry, the Jam browser. <laughs> I can't talk today. <laughs> <laughs> you, you would have the Jamboard open on your Safari browser. Yeah. 
to get to Safari, I have to get Zoom out of the way. Can I? So can, you, do, you know the, this, the minimize the three? Yep, I've got a red one and a uh, green one, but no yellow one. Huh. And, and it's the Zoom at the top, and, and yet I'm looking at your Jamboard screen. Sometimes if I push the green one, it will minimize it and give me more there, gives me more options. Okay. So, so do you see your Safari browser that has the Jamboard, looks like the Jamboard is on your Safari browser? Well, I think what I'm looking at is yours. And yes. But do you see the Safari one? There it is, which looks like a PowerPoint or something, right? All right. So this is a Jamboard. A Jamboard is... It's kind of halfway between a PowerPoint and just a, a Promethean board. It's a, it is a Promethean board type of software where what you have on your computer goes up onto the board. Okay. So in there, if you go to, do you have three dots that give you the option to make a I copy? Do. I do on this one. Okay, well, so over, yeah, I do. Here's three dots and it says make a copy. So just hit make a copy. Okay. Just so that you can save that copy onto your, in your drive and you can work with it. Okay. So, I so, so what I, copy. yes. And what I did for you was I changed the share settings. Then I copied the link and I sent it to you in chat. So, and I, that works for whether I'm in Zoom or in Google Meet or you know, I can send it to email or I can put it in someone's, you know, the learning management system, uh, uh, whatever. Are we recording or can you say that three steps again? Did we this, are recording. Okay. Okay. And I, I can say it again. So I, I get the, I change the share options yeah. to allow anyone with the link can be an editor. And I yeah. copy the link and I put it in my chat then the student gets that link and can just tap on it and they're in with me. And so he sees it in his chat, the student does. Yes, just, just as you did when I sent it to you. Yes. This, yes. That's the student's that's view. Okay. And then the student is able to click on it. And then the student works with me interactively. He doesn't just look at my screen. He's able to participate. So yes. if you are in the your Safari window that has this Jamboard, you mm -hmm. can manipulate these pieces by going to the, uh, using the arrow icon. Okay. Are those icons unique to Jamboard or those yes. standard Google icons? No, these are unique to Jamboard. Okay. So okay. Uh, there's a pen icon okay. here that allows me to write. Okay, good. There's a undo. Mm -hmm. There's the eraser that also, you know, can erase objects. And right. then the arrow is the select tool. So with the arrow okay. highlighted, I can move pieces. Okay. And whatever you can do, the student can do. So are, are you with me um, on page, let's see what page am I on? on page two, you're on page one and it says Jamboard for reading activities. If you could not use the frame selector up at the top, do you see where it has the numbers? One through 13. Yes, and just right two, arrow one. or down arrow. Let's go to page two. Okay, I'm there. Okay, and then use your arrow icon on the left. And see if I can move. Yeah. Great, 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 great. Love it. Are you moving things? Yeah. Can you see them? You can't see my screen. I don't know why it's not showing me what you're doing. I've played with all the vowels. I've moved them all down and moved them back up. Okay. For some reason, I must need to just refresh mine. Every once in a while, Google is, you know, it is often imperfect. And every once in a while, it's imperfect while you're using it. Okay. Okay. So can you see it yet? I'm going to put my vowels back. I don't see it yet. Okay. Oh, oh, you know what? I know what I know why. You're in the copy that you made. Yeah. Okay. So can you come back to the copy, the original copy I sent you? Well, would that 
that one is on Google. Uh, so I have, to, I have to get back. Hang on, let me figure that out. If I go back, it's just going to be the first slide. So that doesn't help. The original copy you sent me is up here. I'll tap on that. And I got copy of demo jam for presentation. And when I tapped on that, tapped on the link. Yes, yes. Okay, I see that you joined. And now can you go to page two? Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and I would do the arrow. Uh -huh. And I could scoot all the bells wherever I want them. Can you see that? Yep, I can see it. Isn't so, that cool? From Nashville to Hawaii? Yep. Yep. And I've done this with, you know, someone in Australia before. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't oh. matter. And the lag is very minimal. This is what I've been so pleased with. Oh, my gosh. So whatever I have in here, I can move, my student can move. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I love it. That's great. So I have this. And if what I do, Susan, is can you uh, go up by where it says 2 13 and there's that little arrow underneath? Do you ever work with groups? I should ask that first. No. no. Okay. So if when I have a group, I use uh -huh. that down arrow. Do you see that little bitty yeah. arrow under? Mm -hmm. And that allows me to see several frames at one time. Mm -hmm. I duplicate it for as many that are in my small group. Yeah. And I can watch all five kids work at one time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, if I we're working on vowels or working yeah. on switching things, I can see all of them work at one time. Okay. From there, let's go to page uh, frame five. Let me see how I can get out of my double frames here. How do I undo that? Let me do this back arrow, see what happens. Hmm, that, that wasn't so good. Uh, maybe I could just go back to slide one. All right, here's my dots. Nope, don't need that. Can you see what I have? I have the main, the first slide, and then I have where we duplicated the second slide. So I'm trying to collapse them and go back to just slide two. And I do the error. Are you saying in your on your screen that you have multiple windows open? Well, uh, no, I have where you showed how to do a group of students. I clicked on that little thing underneath. Oh, so now click it back and it'll go away that little arrow. Ah, collapse frame bar. Got it. Okay. okay. Now you, let's go to frame five. Okay. Okay. And, and this is where I do a lot of my uh, build it, switch it type of activities and mm -hmm. whatever names you might use for it. And yeah. on this one, I... I try to reduce the the number of letters and I only put letters that I'm going to be using and get rid of the others. Yeah. And some of my very beginning students with dyslexia have a hard time with sequencing because the concept of positions of sounds in a word is too abstract. I mean, they're just thinking cat or dog. They're not thinking mm -hmm. that there's it's a sound in a sequence. So right. the ice cream truck helps my very beginning students because they know if they're next to the ice cream truck, they're first to give them that sense of directionality. First, okay. Right, because you know if yeah. you're behind everybody. First in line. Yeah, okay. so I use that visual to help my very beginning students or anyone who has trouble with sequencing. But then I use, I don't use it if they don't need it. Yeah. Because, you know, some kids will build from the right, left instead of left, right. and. Would you have all those letters scrambled around up there or would you just have the few that you're working with with that child? It depends. So <laughs> okay. some kids, I only have the few that I'm working with and others that can handle it. I just leave it from the session before and okay. make new letters if I need it and whatnot. Okay. okay. So right now I can say to you, if, as if you were my student, mm -hmm. let's build the word uh, past past okay. and say the word and eat it yeah 
yeah and all of that and build it sage sound as you build it and then yeah. you can use your arrow and build bring it down into the space and mm -hmm. and build and it and excellent job and there and now i can do i can do let's switch this from past to pest my little mm -hmm. brother is a pest mm -hmm. and let them do a switching and okay. so i can work in here where my student is working and i'm seeing my student work okay so have you both clicked on your arrow? If, if he didn't click on it, you're the only one that can switch him. Um, I, we are independent so that okay. I could write if I wanted to. Cause you click I, on the one of, yeah. If I wanted to, I could use my pen and write on it. Yeah. Or my, whatever. Yeah. And we're on page five. And if I said, you know, that was excellent. And, you know, let's, let's look at this here. Yeah, I and, see where the, the icon is or the. And I can write on it and it should show up there where you can mm -hmm. see what I've written. Yeah. Yeah. And I can say, let's say it now, ready? Pa or I can use the laser tool and ready, past and the it would show up on your screen. Okay. However I want to do it, but Sometimes so this take it away from them because they're going to play with it while you're trying to be directed with them. Uh, end, or this, it is possible by changing the share, the share functions on the fly. So if right now I said, oh, you're messing around. I'm going to make it that you can't do it so I go up to my share and I change it from anyone can edit to anyone can view. Okay, so that but is an option. It but is I an do. option. I don't like to do that. Yeah. Because the purpose of me using this with the student here is I want my students to manipulate the sounds. I don't right. want them to just watch me. Right, right, right. But right now I just switched it. Are you able to uh, move anything? Uh, yeah, still can move letters. I'm fine. I'm going to see if I can get up to the okay. um, so. pin. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that, but I made it big <laughs> to get to that icon for the pin. This says your access has expired. Okay, that's because it just took that minute for me to, okay. Uh, it just took a minute for me, for my, the change I made to affect you, but I've changed it back. So it should be, okay. okay. I now just says permission updated. So now you're good again. Okay, did it, I had that option too, but did you have to click it rather than me clicking on that? No, the student can do that too. Okay. Oh no, no, I take it back. That's by owner. The student can do anything else, but you, the owner of the gem, is the only one who can change that. Okay. So this is where it was difficult in the beginning because it, if I was working with one student, it was it wasn't bad, and I could just say, "Okay, knock it off," or yeah. "We're going to go do something else now because you're not paying attention." But mm -hmm. in a group, I wouldn't be able to see, and you know, one kid could go and delete everything for another student, and that was a problem. Yeah. But now that version history is here, I show the kids right now that I can see who's doing it. You're not going to get away with it. <laughs> so, like the uh, teacher with the eyes in the back of her head, you can see it all. Okay. Right. So, I can do my uh, my switching, whatever here or building here. Okay. And so this is your own. This is your 13 slides that you built that are your um, Jamboard yeah. for your work with kids. Yeah, and. And I have, I mean, you've got it now too, so you could use it if you want to, but, or you can use a Jamboard that someone else has shared with you, like one of the ones on Reading Simplified, you can use that. But um, this is it's great. It's easy to make and it's easy to do. So, I mean, uh, if you flip through my pages here, mm -hmm. I'm just showing that I have different backgrounds. Yeah. So 
that goes up into set background. You have the feature to set a background and yeah. you can change the background to whatever you like. So I have some with an ice cream truck. For some students, I don't need the ice cream truck. I yeah. just have one like on page seven that just has some lines to give them something to line up on. Yeah. Or That's I have great. on uh, page nine. Can you go to page nine? Yeah, a grid. Right, so I can do work here with high frequency words or uh, yeah. spelling or words. Spelling. Yeah, that's and, cool. And I can build it this way. And I on this one, I might have the students say, uh, the students, I have them identify, you know, how many sounds are there in the word, uh, let's see, which one do I, in the word the. And, yeah. and I'll have the student use the pen and say, pen and say the, uh mm -hmm. and say okay we're going to fill those spots good and then, i like that and and work this way yeah and so the so the student can say it and identify the sounds and then pull the letters yeah. and i can and if the student sorry and it's a matter of going back between the pen and the select and the student says does this and if he gets ahead of me before i've introduced what says uh and he pulls this I can come in and say, oh, you know, that's the correct representation. That's a nice sound. You found the sound, but here's the tricky part. In this word, we use the E to say uh and the. Yeah. And so I can correct. So if the student does something, I can correct at the same time. Okay. okay. So we can work truly collaboratively in the same document. Yeah, yeah. In the same document. Yeah. And um, yeah. on page 10, I stick a background of lined letters. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, of, of primary paper, yeah. and I can write on it. So, this is what I do. I also open it up on my iPad, and I use, oh. and so it's easy for me to write, and I can do letter formation. How do you open it on your iPad? Just it's just a, it's just an app. It's the Jamboard app. It's okay. super easy. Who ever knew there was a Jamboard app? I know it's incredible. And the Jamboard app works really nicely. I use my I use my pen, but I mean I have my students. Most of my students, my private students have iPads at home. I just have them use it on their iPad. We yeah. talk over our Zoom or Meet. Yeah. But I just say open it up on your iPad. Okay, ready? We're going. And they all have some kind of stylus and we write and do letter formation and whatnot. Uh that would make it so much easier. I had a dysgraphic child back in March when we started all this stuff. So I had his mom get a whiteboard and put it on the wall so that with a camera I could watch him and, you know, mm -hmm. do all of that stuff. Well, then, it is yeah. nice to have that large, large muscle, yeah. right? So we yeah. do like that. But I have found so that amazing. most of my kids have an iPad and I yeah. just say, open it up on your iPad. We'll talk over Zoom and I'll do other things over Zoom. But the Jamboard, just open it up on your Jam on your iPad, and he works on his iPad. I work on my iPad. We can see each other working. So, how would you get this fifteen slides or whatever you have, this same little set of slides, on the iPad? Um, I have. I'll show you. Up okay. here in Google, and I don't know whether uh, Safari has the same thing. If I come up into the address bar here. Uh -huh. in my Chrome browser, mm -hmm. it has this option of this, the little something code, oh, yeah, a QR code. Yeah. So I display the first time it's easy. I just display that my student holds up his iPad, uses his camera, boom, he's got it. Oh and after God. that, I just, you know, it's like, it's now you there. have it. It's you've got it's it. It's yeah. your iPad or, or I say, what's your email? And I just add that email into the share settings. Okay. So on the share settings, I can put my students' email here and they just open it up from their drive. Cool. Yeah. And then it's there. Then it's so there. Save it on their iPad so you don't have to go through that again. Right. So every time they just open up their iPad and, and it's there. Mm -hmm. And if I change things up or put new pages in or whatever, it's there. Wow. This, this is so beautiful compared to the limitations I've been doing just with 
Zoom and Safari. Um, well, it is I mean, nice. You, doing it. you were ahead of the game. Well, so. you know, Jamboard just added the backgrounds last month. Oh. And they just added the version history like two weeks ago. So it's like, yes, wow. these are the things that were most, most necessary. Yeah. So this, yeah. this is a background in here, this paper. I yeah. just took an image of primary paper, you know, downloaded it on my desktop and then uploaded it here as a set of back, set background. Hmm. When I go to say, I want this background and yeah. I have that, I'm going to send it to you. Oh, love uh, it. So this, love these it. are just slides. This is my Google Slides, like a PowerPoint. And yep. I have just built different backgrounds here and yeah. different images. Yeah. And then if I want, if I want this size of primary paper, uh -huh. that's what I put in for my student. Yeah. Or I might have this one with have little clocks on it to help with letter formation. Yeah. Or one that, the three lines is too big. I have this one with just two, you know, yeah. so I just have these here and it's like, okay, this student needs this size. Mm -hmm. And that's the one I put in as the background for his, the jam board I'm using for that student. I'm sending beautiful. this to you right now. This is beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to play with this. So all I do here, I think, I think it worked is I'm sending this to you in chat and, and you, We'll get a copy. And I think you'll have to say know, make a copy. I never know, like, and I'm in a conference in, or in a meeting and they'll put things in chat links, but then I don't know when the meeting's over. Are those links gone? It, am I supposed to click on those links while the meeting's going on and they're in the chat box? Yes, yes. Click okay. on it while it's live to. and then have it to, on your browser and then save whatever ones you want to save okay or I make a copy i'm curious where i'm going to put it now where can i so, put it okay so just click on the link i did and it's it'll force you not it'll ask you do you want to make a copy i think right. it's just, so right. just say it's make a copy. copy yeah but i don't know where that copy goes or oh lives. uh hmm. like when they say clipboard i never know where the clipboard is things are saved to so I'm not sure since you're using your Safari browser uh, where yeah. that clip, where that file goes. I'm assuming I'm that you've signed in walking. with your Google. Uh, it should show up in your Google Drive. So if you oh, look okay. somewhere in your Google Drive, it should, you should have an under recent, you should see it. All right. Right now, I'm going to stick it on a Word doc so it's at yeah, least somewhere. Perfect. So there it is. That's <laughs> excellent. And I'll figure out later where else I can put it. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I use I use just different backgrounds. So what I do is this is just a Google slide. Yeah. And I say I want to use this this paper for this student. Mm -hmm. I come up here to file download and then i can download that image you know this current slide as yeah. an image and it just goes right into my downloads okay so now if i go into my jamboard and i want to put that in here yeah you find it up there in your collection okay let's say okay. i'm going to put in a new slide i'll go to this slide or this frame yeah and i just hit set background this plus and it asks me you know what do i want to put in here i'm just going to put it from my downloads right in there mm -hmm. and it's there oh my gosh oh. so oh. i can i can do this on the fly with a student when i see i have a need yeah i can get in a um a new background in there in 30 seconds yeah that's beautiful Okay. beautiful and i have just depending on the need what else i might put in here like this background on page uh, 12 is um, a bingo board i set up and for my students that get confused you know have the confusing letters 
yeah. and yeah. like minimal pairs, except more than minimal pairs. So pit, bit, yeah. and uh, and whatnot, bet, yeah. and whatever. Yeah. So we just, you know, I can play the game here. So this is just a background that I've made in my uh, Google Slides, and I put it in here. And this, these little guys, I go to insert image, and I'm going to do a Google image search of a unicorn because yeah. my little girl wants to play with unicorns today. And yeah. she says, oh, I like that one. Say, so, okay, that's the image. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be what she uses as her token. Her token. Okay. And I duplicate it, duplicate yeah. or control, you know, copy and paste a million times. Yeah. And then she uses these to mark her spots. Oh, love like it. That. Love it, love it. And, you know, and I, I can play whatever it is I'm working with, whether it's the, you know, the spelling words that the kid has to use for school or the concept that I'm teaching. Right. And I pop it in here and, you know, we'll say, I'm looking for a word that's an action. Can you find a word that's an action, something yeah. you can do or, you know, I'm looking for, what do you do to your dog? If you want to touch your dog, what's that called? So and they'll say, language in too. Yeah, yeah. I, I try to, and they say, oh, I, I pet my dog. And say, okay, that, you chose the word pit that has the I. Remember we were working with the I and the I, your teeth are lined up more. I'm saying pet, look at my mouth, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we correct and we work here. So I can bring as... I try to get as much language and yeah. everything else into yeah. compound activities. People do compound game. exercises. I do compound activities. Yeah. You know, and we'll use like, whatever we need to. Yeah. And then so, I might good. put put a reading passage in. So if you're doing the reading passage, I just take the picture and stick it in. Okay. And then what I do, is it in here? So this is just an image of an index card. And okay. I can mask and reveal. Oh. <laughs> this is so good. Or I just use this to do that. Yeah. But if my student is getting stuck, up, stuck on something and he's saying set, and I'll mm -hmm. say, okay, let's look at the sound. Say it as I reveal it, you know. And oh, my. What's that sound? And I can mask and reveal using this Index image here card. wow yeah so it's just an image that i have up in my um google slides i just download yeah. it stick it in here as an image and then i can use that on Is our reading passage paste thing or copy and paste mm -hmm. so google okay. has this uh feature here of add an image so okay. that's where i got the unicorn but i can do upload and I can upload an image from my uh, downloads folder, from my uh, desktop, wherever. Oh, so yeah. the, the Google Slides here. So I have this image, like I have the images of our vowel cues. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I just added those images. And this is an, this one here is, you can barely see it, but it's the image of my index card. So I yeah. download this. Yeah. And, insert that into my reading passage. Wow. And I don't know, I might change the color, make it a little more visible. Yeah. Maybe, uh, you know, a very light color, but I it can works. mask. I just can't believe you can do all these things. And then my student, you know, if my student is having trouble, I'll, I'll say, you know, let's make all the, the eh, let's make them all green. Use your highlight pen and make them all green because you know, so that we can find it ahead of time mm -hmm. and be really aware that that's the, the eh sound. And so mm -hmm. my student can come in with his pen and choose a green pen and uh, then come and highlight each of the eh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just so that as he's reading it, he's more aware that that says yeah. eh and not eh or whatever yeah. his, his issue is. Yeah. It just seems limitless. Emily, of what you can do. Well, there are limits. There are limits, but it, it is it has a lot of functions that I like. Mm -hmm. It makes working with the students. Um, I don't feel like I'm a talking head 
which you can't do that right when you're being a reading instructor you have to be down in their face and and hands on in schools at all now any face to face uh the students are back in school but because of bubbles and space and whatnot i'm still doing all of my reading intervention as virtual so the students take their computer and sit someplace and i meet with them virtually so i'm not going into the classroom and having a small group like because they can't sit at the back table anymore right so all of my work is still virtual with my school students and my private students do you prefer it at this point do you think um there are certain students i really feel i'm not effective virtually you know, the student that just needs sometimes that touch on the shoulder yeah. and I can do it virtually, I can do it verbally, but there's certain students, they need to just see that you believe in them and feel that through their pores that you believe in them. And I can try to be as exuberant, but you know, certain right. students just need that, that the extra, touch. that extra touch and certain students um, I think the issue with headphones is that you hear well, but I think our brains process directionality of sounds better in person. So like if I'm in a classroom of 20 kids, mm. I know what's going on there and I know what's going on here and I know what's going on here. And I can sort of tune out. I'm not listening to those groups right now. I'm just listening to kind of what's happening here. I'm really focusing on this. But when all those sounds are coming at you in your headphones, you can't... Um, tune out based on directionality like i'm not listening to that conversation or that conversation yeah, they're and all so, yeah. yeah so the kids who are doing it virtually and they're hearing their peers do things that are unrelated it's coming in with the same intensity and it's harder for some students to focus if there's it's harder for them to uh, ignore those competing yeah stimulus if they're all equal yeah yeah I, before we last march before we started virtual there's some colleagues that president of tennessee ida and all that was a, all virtual and i was going i could never do that i'm such a touchy i need to be there we need to be face to face i just said i could never do that i didn't have an interest in it at all yeah but we've been forced into it and so by the seat of our pants yeah. at least for me last march so I will say there's things I like better about being um, uh, virtual, and that is I hate trying to teach with the mask on. I feel like I'm muffled, and they're not hearing the sounds as clearly. My students are muffled. I'm not hearing them. I'm not seeing what they're doing with their mouths. You know, it's like, is your tongue out when you're saying, or are you saying, right. you know? Yeah. yeah. So I don't like teaching with masks on. I just like, ah. I can't tell what's happening. And like, I would never get this close to a student, right? Right in their face, but I can do it on a camera and say, look at my mouth when I say, yeah. my tongue is out. This is the one time you can stick your tongue out at me. Go ahead, stick your tongue out. Yes. You know, yeah. where we wouldn't do that in person, right? Yeah. So that is an advantage yeah. and that they can also yeah. see themselves. They look, I say, okay, look at your camera. You know, what mm -hmm. does your mouth look like when you're saying whatever sound? And yeah. Okay, describe it to me. What does it look like? How far apart are your teeth and your lips? Okay, good. Now, what's that sound that you just made? You know, so mm -hmm. I can get them to look at, I mean, we use mirrors in classes, right? To do that. Right. But it is nice where I can say, here's my model. And now look at yourself. Are you doing the same thing? And so that part is kind of nice with the virtual because I would I never get that close. It may be better. It may actually be better. Are you using the camera on your computer or on your monitor or using some kind of separate camera? Um, no, camera? just just the one on my on my uh, laptop. Okay, and the background behind you is that one of those choice things you can get on Zoom that's just plain old green versus all no, the books it's, behind me. <laughs> no, I uh, I had I hung a green curtain behind me, a green mm -hmm. sheet behind me, and I tried doing, and I have done you know uh, more interesting backgrounds. And sometimes uh, this is the blur, but I have done ones where like, if I'm doing a talk on something, I'll put this back, you know, the background of whatever. Of course, I don't have it set up just right. 
right. angle where they can see the, the title of what I'm doing. Or sometimes I'll, I'll do one special for that occasion, Merry Christmas or blah, blah, blah. And I'll put that up there or I'll surprise a student and put one up that says, you know, happy birthday, so-and-so, uh, you know, yeah. and those little things. Yeah. Uh, so I, but I don't do a lot of the fancy stuff. What about that. your lighting? Your lighting looks so good. Did you have to get, you know, some lights here coming towards you to make yeah, it? Yeah, I did do that. Okay. Because. Because um, it looks great. Oh, thank you. I, um, I did have to get two lights for this room because you know just the overhead light yeah. looked awful on me yeah and so i i put in one light in each corner of my room are they floor lamp kind of lights or are they attached? Yeah, they, they were um uh, box lights like photography box lights that were oh. very inex like the ring lights that they sell but i the box light actually worked better Okay. And um, and it wasn't expensive, but it really helped with with uh, getting. Uh, yeah, looks great. Are they on a stand? Does the box light come on its own stand? It it does come on a stand. Okay. Yeah, and I just okay. stuck one in that corner and one in that corner and shine. Uh, on your face. Yeah. yeah, towards this direction and 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 it works. It's perfect. Now, could I uh, go to the Jamboard and reading simplified and make this stuff work. I mean, I've seen all of their slides. Um, how about if you bring I just it up? Didn't know how, and I will be your access. student. All right, let me find it. Um, that may take a while, but let's see if I can find it. Okay, this is Safari. So We're going to go to um just get a new page and go to read simplify new window uh well if i can spell simplified yes i am <laughs> BL. Uh, if I did, it should come up. The Academy is a saved. Mm. Okay, I'm um, on their page. Now, if I wanted to find just their Jamboard, I wonder if I could do a search, maybe? You want to share your screen with me? And I can yeah. see what you're doing. Let's figure out how to go back to Zoom on my camera. Share screen. It's interesting. Yeah. I, was I already sharing my screen and no. then when I added something new or I was not? Okay. You did earlier and then I stopped it and you looked at my screen and now you're okay. back. Okay. So if we want to find gem boards on here, do you think we could just do a search? Do you know um, where to find them? I, I don't. Okay. I found them the other day. But I don't think this is the way you find them. Maybe. Oh. Huh. Well, I may have to figure out where I. If you. Okay, I see on your left window. Yeah. That, that has that uh your drive. Yeah. Let's see if you saved it in your drive. Just uh go to that uh -oh. left window. Okay. And uh, and then um, go up to your search and type in type colon jam. And that's that's right. right. Type a colon first. Yeah, the word type, T-Y-P-E colon. Oh, oh, oh. T-Y-P-E colon. Jam. Jam. And that should pull up all your jams. Oh, no, the only jam you have is that one. The one that I one, gave yeah. you. Okay. So, oh, but you can see in there that you have 
Um, I have some Wilson's so you have that one that I sent you. Do you also have the uh, um, <laughs> the slide deck that has the backgrounds? Did I see that there? Can you go to the top and see if there would be an order? Or uh, do you see your recent? If you would tap on your recent on the left side where it says recent, my drive yeah. shared with yeah. me recent. Yeah, Oops, that's it. Is that it. Yeah, you've got it. So that's where that yeah. is. Yeah. Now, oh, did I see something that says week, switch it? Yeah, it says switch it. So I bet that's it. I bet that's it. Click on that. And then I, do I click on this to open it? I think I tried mm -hmm. this and I couldn't figure out how you open it. Ah, switch it. Level two, list three A. Let's click on that. That's yeah. See what so I just double click on the title. There. So that's just the post-its with the with the right. letters. And you can create that in a brand new jam. Okay. Um, but this is in Google, which is good, right? This is in where it needs to be for me to work on it easier than Safari. So that's where it's saved. And there's the view only in. So um, you're going to switch. So there you want to, if you want to use that one, uh, don't do that. Don't do that. I'll show you what to do. Hit cancel. Okay. okay. Go up to your three dots. Okay. And hit make a copy. Oh. There you go. And now it's going to make your own copy. OK. And so if then, you're using the lists that they have, I guess those are the letters you need for that list. Right. OK. But um, uh, let's see. I wanted to make it so the child could. Uh, so share. So share, OK. And right now it says restricted only people added can open with this link. Uh huh. You can either add your students. If you, if your student has a Google account, whatnot, you can add their names in that top section where it says share with people in groups okay. or, okay. or you can go down to that bottom section and where it says restricted do change to anyone with the link. Mm -hmm. So to the oh, left over there, yeah, yeah, okay. and then where it says viewer, uh huh, change that to editor. Okay. Now you can copy the link and send it to your student, like me or whatever. Do I click on, do I click on done? No, you click on copy link. Okay. Link copied. And now you oh. have that link on your clipboard, and you can send that in your chat or send that wherever you want in an email, whatever you want to do. Okay, that's the thing. I don't know where, where it's copied to. Let me see if I... Um, so if you were to send it to me in chat, I could open it up on my end. All right, how would I send it to you in chat? Go back at, at the bottom of your screen where it says share screen. Next to it, it says chat. Um, at the bottom of the screen? Mm -hmm. You're in the Zoom. And... You see the green one that that's very, my Google page. Let me are you that the very very there bottom? Is. The yeah, icon. Here, June. Okay. And do you see the chat? I don't because I don't have the right um, images. I think maybe. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I think maybe it's hard to get there without uh, while you're sharing. I'll so it, I think it's. Alt H, but I'm not sure. Okay. There's a hot key, or you just stop sharing and send it. Okay, okay. I won't do that right now, but at least we have enough functionality for me to figure out how to roughly get where I need to be. Um, I'm glad we recorded it because I couldn't take notes quickly enough. <laughs> Um, I was going to ask if there's anything else you think I need. In well, I think you should no, work with what I guess you I'm on that. Yeah, I do too. I do work too. with what you have. I did this for a while.